To begin using All Data Diagnostics, we need to pair the VCI with our mobile device. When you receive your shipment from All Data, you will need to set up your tablet and download the All Data app. If you're using a tablet from All Data, power on the device and complete the setup wizard. When prompted, be sure to set your device's language to English. All Data Diagnostics only works in English. Set your preferences, such as screen sleep time and brightness. Next, connect your device to an internet-enabled Wi-Fi network. If you do not already have one, create a Google account. You will use this account to access the Play Store and download the All Data app. If you're using your own device, such as Apple or Microsoft, Refer to the manufacturer's instructions for creating the appropriate account to download apps from their site. Navigate to the manufacturer's app download site and type All Data in the search field. Tap on the All Data icon and follow the prompts to download. Review the app's terms and conditions and accept. Now that your device is set up and the app has been downloaded, the next step is to pair the device with the VCI. We'll show an Android tablet. To begin, plug the VCI into the OBD port and wait for it to boot up. When the power and ready lights are on and not blinking, the VCI is ready to pair. I'll swipe from the edge of the tablet to open the status bar. I'll press and hold the Bluetooth icon to open the settings page. I'm looking for the All Data OBD option. Once the tablet sees the VCI, I tap it. In the pin field, I'll enter 1, 2, 3, 4, and tap OK. The devices are now paired. Pairing is a one-time process, not something we have to do each time we use diagnostics. That's all there is to pairing the VCI to your mobile device. For more in-depth information, visit alldatasupport.com and view the how-to articles or download the full user's guide.